Goodyear in the 11 car is running currently in 12. And here's that near miss with Andretti just a moment or two ago on Jeff Wood. Yes, he's making the entry into the turn, and here you see Jeff Wood sliding right out. Michael had to get on the binders, get up in the gray, and that gets really slippery. Really slippery. He didn't appreciate it much. Yeah. Uh, oh, there he is, a little... He uh, did have time wave, to let him know. A little friendly wave. The other day, <laughs> running, they are under green, and Unser is closing on Andretti. That's Al Unser Jr. closing on Michael Andretti. And here you see that battle for first position with 26 laps complete. Of course, that's one of the things about this type of racing as opposed to Formula One. One of the real, real beauties is that with the pit stops and, of course, the caution periods, you can... Oh, oh, no, Al's out. Something's a miss. Al's out. Something has just happened to his car, and he raised his hand to let uh, whoever was behind him know that he was in trouble. He's had a light that came on. I think his engine must have uh, uh, must have expired because he had a green flag being dropped, and we are away. So no caution for the first time. And it was one. They ran one off under caution and then turned it loose. Oh, oh. on a spin at one. Into turn number one, that looks like one of the Andrettis. Yes, I think that's... Is that Michael or Mario? Mario. 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 Mario must have been touched back there and, and spun in the latter stages of turn one. I think he tried to go around the outside and got nudged. Mario Andretti back underway. He's just running like a train. Let's take a look at that pass once again for second place. Down to the start-finish line. There you can see he's trying, fainting to the outside and then diving to the inside. Mario had to hold a line. Ooh, Look at him. He locked the brakes up right there and made tire marks on the pavement. <laughs> tremendous, tremendous move on Fittipaldi's part. Boy, he had it down. I mean, he had it this is Michael Andretti's pit stop. Plenty of fuel and no change of tire. What a roll of the dice this is. But Andretti stalls it. And all the advantage they would have gained by not changing tires, they'll have to bring out the starter, grab it in, fire it up. Michael just about stalls it again, getting away. So, again, a great idea, but a little short on execution. Hartjo Carter in competition, and this is going to be a great finish for him. Of course, he also came out with a pretty good start this year with an eighth down there in Phoenix. Uh, Scotty Brayton is on fire. He has a fire on the right side of his car. He's got the speed up. It's, it's going to going to eat a hole in the bodywork, I'm sure, and he's headed around, I hope, to the pits, but that car has a fire raging under the engine cover on the right rear side. Let's hope he knows. Seventh place car, great. One of the Nick Simon cars. He is heading to the pits. He's coming in now. There he is. He's, he's Safety. Obviously, uh, someone radioed and told him. Now, funnily enough, we'd had a report right at the beginning of the race that Scott Brayton's car was smoking. And he's gone all this way without any problems at all. And now something has, in fact, ignited under there. Well, they've tried to put... They're going to have to stop and have a look and see yeah, what they've well, tried to fire he wants, out. He wants to, he keep, wants to going, keep going. Uh, because it'll be a good finish for him. You know, and they, they're hungry. That team is hungry for a good finish. They've had some problems. He's about to put Emerson yet another lap down. Although Fittipaldi is going better now, but he's probably missing at least one gear. And there we see the 22, and it's still on fire. Still on fire, raging again. They've got a real serious problem. That seemed pretty unwise to me to just yes. throw that water and then drive out without at least looking to see now what it is. There's a call. In the 47th lap, a major incident in front of Cobo Hall involving this man, number 20, Emerson Fittipaldi, and Mario Andretti. Watch it here. Battle for second place. Emerson down the inside, they are snarled, they came to a complete halt and could not get away. The first car to fire and come around was Andretti. The Depaldi was pushed for a considerable distance and his car finally fired and is back on the track. Now in our latest... Uh, team manager Steve Horn said they got into a punch-up. Alan Sir Jr. got into him and damaged one of those $2,400 magnesium wheels, but Scott is okay. Lion Dyke diving to the inside at turn one. We have a new leader. Lion Dyke, the Dutchman, goes in first. Andretti drops to second. A great pass there. And Mario, Michael trying it down the outside, inside. Lion Dyke did a great job there. Michael thought about cutting him off, but decided not to. Up St. Antoine, headed on to Woodbridge. The international flavor that certainly has not gone away from this Detroit Grand Prix. And here's the encounter for first. Main straightaway, Fittipaldi is fighting his way back into the lead. Pruitt trying to stay with him on the outside. Runs him all the way around the 
corner. The old-fashioned rim ride, David. He didn't give up there, young Scott Pruitt. He really hung right in there. But, of course, that was probably a case of that Chevrolet power just finally nailing the car of Scott Pruitt. Now, Scott, Here's of course... in six, and we're coming to a full-course caution at this moment. Here's John Andretti in seventh. Al Unser Jr. eighth and Mario Andretti's car in trouble and Michael's car has come to a stop and the whole track is blocked. We're under a full course caution and what has happened is the Dennis Vitolo car that we were talking about as we went to commercial, they brought out that safety vehicle to move that car and I believe that Mario has run into the safety vehicle. Mario ran into it and it looks like Michael ran into Mario and now Bobby Rahal stuck there as well. Red flag's out. The whole thing's going to come to a halt. Red flag is halted as this safety vehicle, which is something that you have questioned several times about having these things darting and dodging around the track, uh, has put us in a situation where we are going to a red flag, a red flag condition. Michael getting out of the car there, going to go and have words with his dad, gesticulating. I think he's going to get through safely. And here comes the safety vehicle. and pretty much in the line. Guerrero getting through. This was taped moments ago. the flagmen were working on the other side to alert him there was a condition on the other side of the corner but right in the line was that safety vehicle and and there is Michael getting into it well now Michael and Mario to be really I mean everybody else got through Dennis Vitolo back signal